Hello everybody. As you probably know, it's almost Halloween. Shh, upstairs person. But even if it weren't Halloween, I would still say that any time of the year is a good time to make a wall of bats. A wall of bats is an easy, cheap and really effective way to make your living room, bedroom or hallway or whatever uh, look much cooler and creepier. You can do it in pretty much any room really, except for maybe bathrooms or kitchens because of the moisture. A flock of bats on your wall can go across doors or up onto your ceiling or around corners or anywhere really. You're only limited by your creativity. Some of you guys are very creative people, I know. It makes a really great Halloween decoration or just for all year round. So our house is called the Belfry. Like I said, our house, everyone ha everyone's house has a name here. Um, so we've had this bat wall up since we moved in. And I used rubber bats. I kind of went nuts and just bought like a whole bunch of rubber bats and stuck them up. Uh, but they're a bit, they look really good, but they're too heavy really and they keep falling off. So for this, you'll need some cardboard, scissors or a craft knife, black card or stiff paper, a glue stick, a white pencil, and blue tack or something similar. And you'll also need a bat shape to use. You can draw one yourself or you can use the same one that I did. I've made a post on my website with the exact image which you can um, download and print out. Uh, the same one that I used if you want, if you'd like to use that. But yeah, you know, you can design your own one or whatever you want or find a different picture. So, crafts are fun. Let's get started. First, print out the template onto paper. Using a glue stick, uh, glue the template to a sheet of cardboard that's stiff enough to make a stencil, but thin enough to cut through. You can cut out the back with a craft knife, pop it out and make a stencil that way, but I think it's easier to cut around the outside of the bat shape. So once it's cut out, uh, place the cardboard bat shape onto the black card and trace around it with a white pencil or just something that you can see against black. Uh, you can use other coloured card if you don't want to use black, whatever your style is. Now I found I could fit three bats onto one A4 sheet. Remove the shape and cut along the white line you've drawn. Turning the paper as you cut helps create smoother curves and sharper points. Pro tip. Ta-da! You have your first bat. To make his wings stand away from the wall, you can fold him in the center and fold and curl each wing so that they stand up slightly. But, you know, you might want to have it um, flat. I, I like having them flat. You can use whatever you prefer to stick your bats to the wall. But I'm using blue tack. So roll a small ball of blue tack into a sausage shape and stick it to the side that has the white pencil showing and stick it to the wall. You might want to attach another couple of blobs of blue tack to the wings to keep it flat. If you've bent your bat in the center, put the blue tack on the fold. Now, you could shrink or enlarge the bat template on your computer to make different sized ones to create the illusion of distance. Stick them to a wall. Stand back and admire your work. Now if you make your own bat wall, I would really like to see it. So chuck it up on Instagram and use the hashtag um, Black Friday Bat Wall. Or you can do the same thing on Twitter, tweet it. Or Tumblr I guess as well. Or, or use hashtags now don't they? Or you can link it to us on Facebook. Hope you have as much fun making your bat wall as I did making mine. I'm pretty sure that mine is just going to get bigger and better until it covers... Um, I'm planning just to make mine cover most of my living room and all the way down the hallway because why not? Is it possible to have too many bats? Probably not. Well okay thank you guys very very much for watching. If you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel. I put out at least two videos every week. Uh, as always take care of yourselves, be nice to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye 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 bye.